Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. In the last video, we discussed about hub device. Now, in this video, we will understand about switch device and how the switch device works. We will also discuss some difference between hub and switch. Let's start. So, what is a switch device? Switch is a networking device, mainly used to create a network. If we want to connect multiple computer devices in a school, college, or offices, then we can use switch device. It works on the data link layer of the OSI model, and has multiple switching ports, whichever PC connects to its ports, connects that computer to the network. So why switch is a layer 2 device? Switch is called a layer 2 device because it forward frames based on MAC addresses. And MAC address works on the data link layer. Switch can actually learn the physical addresses of devices that are connected to it and store these addresses in its table. Switch is an intelligent device because it has a memory where it stores information of all the connected devices. In his memory, it maintains a table called CAM table. CAM table, full name content accessible memory table is a table where all the device MAC addresses and port numbers are stored. This information helps to identify every device on a network. Let's take an example, there are four PCs connected with the switch device. When PC1 transmits the data to PC2, the data first arrives in the switch device. The switch looks in its table, where MAC addresses and port numbers are stored. This table helps to know which device is connected to which port number, and then transmit the data to the correct port, so the data packet would only go to that computer. Let's understand how the switch device works. It works on star topology because all the devices are connected to the central node. Data from the source device is first arrived at the switch and then transferred to the destination device. When first time devices are connected to the switch, it broadcasts the message where it identifies the port number and MAC address and store it on its table. This information helps the switch to identify the destination device on the network. So after the broadcast, the switch knows which device is connected to which port number, so next time it does not need to broadcast the message, it will forward the information with the help of port number and MAC addresses. Let's understand what are the benefits of using a switch device. Using the switch device, we can create a network. Means we can connect multiple computers using the switch device and communicate with each other. It increases the performance of the network. Switch can learn device MAC addresses and knows which data comes from which computer. It maintains a table, helps to identify every computer on a network. Switch is able to work on full duplex mode. Each computer is able to send and receive data at the same time. There is no or very less frame collision because every port of the switch has a separate collision domain. I hope you have basic understanding of the switch device. Now let's discuss some differences between hub and switch. Hub and switch, both devices are used to create a network. Hub always broadcast the data to every device. And switch broadcast only first time to identify every device on a network and then it always unicast the data. Hub works on the physical layer and the switch works on the data link layer of the OSI model. Hub is not an intelligent device because it does not have any memory to store device's information, so it does not maintain any kind of table and cannot store MAC addresses. It's just simple blindly forwarding data to all the connected devices like a cable. Switch is an intelligent device because it has the capability to store device's information. It maintains a table where all device information is stored. In its table, it can store all the device's MAC addresses and port numbers. Hub operates on half-duplex mode because it has single collision domain, means only one device can communicate at a time. Switch operates on full-duplex mode because every port has separate collision domain, so all the devices can communicate at a time. I hope you have the basic understanding about the Switch device. You can visit our website, thestudygenius.com, where you can read more about Hub, Switch, Router, modem, and other networking topics. So at least once visit thestudygenius.com. So thanks for watching this video, and please, like this video, and subscribe this YouTube channel, so I can create more videos like this.